everybody it's Sharon here welcome back to my channel for those who are returning and welcome to any new subscribers visiting for the first time I'm working on my journal and I've decided this is going to be quite the chunky monkey because it's already quite full and I really only have my alphabet tucks and my flip outs and my lace is attached to my pages so I'm getting to that point where I'm going when is enough enough so I have a little project in mind for this video and then I'm thinking perhaps I need to start putting things into the journal and I will probably just paper clip them in to see how they work. So keep your eye out for that because it is coming. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out what I've shown you and what I haven't shown you because I am losing track. Okay, honestly, I cannot remember. I thought I'd tuck stuff away when I had shown you, but I'm not sure. Pretty sure you've seen those. Those. Okay, in our last video, we worked on these tags and I have finished those off and just wanted to give you a quick preview. So this is our flip journaling card and there's writing space on the back. And then this is the tag. So I have sewn our wool strip up the side just for it's actually a little bit cushy across there which is really lovely and then we have our tags and of course there is journaling space on the back as well and then our last pocket tag so the pocket created with the paper pad the little butterfly which was a a vellum sticker and I hope that's right and the lace across the top the label that we've attached which I believe was from Tracy Fox's large label set from her Etsy shop and the fabric topper and again writing on the back this is one of my tea stain tags so it does have a little bordered area there that was created while staining which adds a little bit of interest so and of course I've topped these tags with just some eyelash trim so I'm going to tuck those away and then while the camera was off and I know I haven't done a lot while the camera is off but just noticing I have a little bit of ink there that I don't want to get on my journal so for all intents and purposes, I'm just going to pop a piece of paper towel down. Just while I pop my journal down to show you. Not the prettiest backdrop, sorry guys. So, I haven't done any more inside the journal itself, but I have worked on some fabric clips. And I just wanted to show you, and I probably need a page that doesn't have paper clips attached, if I can find one. There we go. Okay. And I have pressed these. I wasn't going to and decided I would give them a once over. They'll probably end up a little bit more wrinkled once they've been sitting in the journal, but that's fine. So both of those, just using some of the pattern fabric as well that we've used throughout the journal. I think they're really pretty. So on today's agenda, I have decided I'd like to make a pocket. Now this is a curtain fabric that I have. 
It is rubber backed. I picked it up at my local spotlight, which is a shop here in Australia for fabrics and crafting. And it was super cheap. It was on sale. I got it at a bargain. So I got quite a good supply of it. And I have an amazing quantity here. And it actually came in two colours. There was this really pretty creamy ivory colour. And a slightly darker brown. And I love both. So I've decided to create a pocket and it's going to be quite a large pocket I'm thinking. So perhaps across there. I would like to, I've realised that I've got these beautiful postcard journaling cards so I would like to make it big enough. To sit one of those in and I'm actually going to use my overlocker now I have set my overlocker up to my right so I will turn the camera off don't know how this will go I've only done this once before and I didn't use the curtain fabric I used something else so we'll see how this goes so I'll just turn the camera off and turn you around and we'll get back to it Hello everybody, I'm back again. So not sure how this will go. I'm not a sewer and I've really only used my overlocker for the purposes of my journaling. So I actually had to add new thread to just one of my threads last night and I was terrified. I really didn't know how it would go. Anyway, it seems to have transferred quite successfully. So. I do now need to keep an eye on my other bobbins because they are running low. Now this machine is, I'm working on a trestle table so there will be quite a, a lot of movement and noise so I will possibly just pop the music on while I'm doing this so that you're not all deafened but I just wanted to show you what I was doing so we'll see how this goes. Keep your fingers crossed. <music> Okay, so I should explain. I have folded it in half vertically and just put my pencil in here and drawn a little line. So I don't know if you can see that. Just a slight mark on the fabric so I can see roughly where center is. And then I folded it roughly where I think I want to start my sewing. Folded it in half, or sorry, folded it up and kind of lined it up. And then I've stuck my pencil in and just drawn a couple of little marks on either end so that I know where that starting point is and they will roughly line up on either side. So my plan is to come in this way and create almost like a jean pocket shape 
and I'm not sure if I've taken quite enough there so I'm going to flip up just a fraction more so by the look of it I'm doing about a third and I think that should work quite well so sorry guys so just making my my lines hitting the camera while I'm at it okay so let's give this a go so you can see quite clearly I've got two pencil marks the first one I did and then the second one so if I hold my pencil along that edge you can see roughly where my line will go and I'm I'm literally using the overlocker to do my cutting for me so that's the beauty of it makes for a very quick pocket the hard part for me will be lining up where I'm cutting so I think that's roughly right fingers crossed and here we go like I went a little skew if so I'm just roughly working out as you can see it's an exact science said no one ever here we go And I am sort of holding that pencil mark across this line here. So. And it's not an exact shape, but what I might do is... What can I do? going to take off from about there I think I'm pretty happy with that so I'll turn the camera back around and we'll have a look at it on our page okay back again so i'm just going to cut off our threads and i do keep these they make for really fun additions to embellishments and things now you could have cut your shape before sewing but i find that it cuts as it sews anyway and I have made the mistake of cutting it to the size I wanted and then it's cut an edge off it so I just kind of eyeball it now and if I pop that in there that will fit quite well so effectively we've made ourselves like a little pocket and I'm going to embellish that so just going to see nice wide trim actually even something or well, maybe not oh that's quite fun Okay, so I like that. And what 
This is a really fun way to add fabric to your journal and create a little more interest in I like that but I don't like the way it takes away from the pattern on there hmm. Oh, I just had a really fun idea. What about... So I have these fabric scraps and I'm just thinking about doing like a little patch. So I was just went looking for my bin and I've moved it so I was reaching around behind myself and I may even sew that on. Just I think that's really fun. Different, I know, but and simple. No, I like it that way. sitting so much better until I touched it. Okay, I think I need to trim that just a fraction. Okay, and I'm quickly going to set my sewing machine up. I did just find these on my desk. So I'm wondering if I could perhaps cut a little strip of this. I'm really just playing now, guys. This is what I do. This is me at my best. Well, I think it's my best when I'm just playing. And maybe a piece of something underneath to make it pop. And I'm thinking... Um, do I have scraps of that? So I've got a piece here that I'm going to try. I don't know if it will work. Just bear with me while I tear a piece off. And it's actually a new fabric that I haven't used in the journal, but... I'm thinking it might add a nice pop. So it's this really rich brown. And I'm wondering, I need it smaller. I'm not sure if I'll go ahead with this yet, guys. love the sound of it when it tears i'm sorry i can't even tell you what sort of fabric it is I, i'm really not sure okay i want to off center that Just going to cut this over my bin. I 
There's something away about the way that's sitting that's not working for me. I think it's still too big. I may regret this. I'm getting better. So I need to cut it a little bit here, I think. Not sure this one will tear. Oh, yes, it does. Wow, well, listen to that. Rip. Love it. Oh, that's so much better. Okay, so I'm going to sew that down. I may do a little crazy stitching on it. I'm going to sew down the lace top and it will be done. Okay, so I'll turn the camera around, take you with me, wipe you a moment. careful not to get my stitches from the overlocker taking off my excess thread sorry guys I'm thinking of the camera and I will pop the camera around and show you our finished result I will be back in a moment. And there you have our pocket. So quite a quick little project when you have an overlocker. You could probably do the same thing with a sewing machine and cut your pocket to size and then zigzag around the edges to give you a very similar look. It doesn't have to be done on the overlocker. And then just embellish it how you like. I like to try and make it look a little bit like a pocket. So... Hence the lace trim and little patchwork almost. In my mind, that's what it looks like anyway. And then it will make a beautiful little tuck spot for a journaling card. I will probably sew this onto my page. And wherever I sew it, it does give a nice little pocket look at the back of the page with the sewing, which I think is really sweet. So... I hope you enjoyed this little craft with me. Just a quick and simple pocket idea. I haven't done it on this scale before. I've I've done it on smaller journals, so the pocket size has been relatively smaller. But I did want to create something to tuck these really beautiful cards into. So I look forward to seeing you next time. Please give me a thumbs up. Like this video if you like what you see. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see future videos. And I look forward to seeing you soon, everybody. Happy crafting and bye for now.